what are we playing today? So there is a game called Fish Game that is unreleased to the public, meaning if you wanted to download it right now, you can't, but I can. Uh, and in addition to me helping, so this is sort of, it's sort of like an aquarium sim type fish game. Um, you guys are gonna help as well. Our goal is to play through the game, play through the content that they have in this early pre-release demo, and sort of comment on and point out what we can find that maybe should be improved, the things that we like, some things that maybe feel off as people who have had aquariums or kept fish before, you know? When is the game released? I believe it's October 22nd. So the game's only like two weeks away from being released. First time opening the game, chat. Here we go, brand new game, unreleased to the public, exclusive Avian J and other media influencer people. Ooh. Okay, that is a really cute intro. Smarter Every Day? Wait, I see ads for Smarter Every Day all the time on YouTube. All right, chat. <clears throat> so we are going to be playing the Fish Game Demo. This is an upcoming game that is supposed to be really good and a lot of people are excited for. And I got exclusive early access uh, because they are allowing me to help them comment on the game. Uh, and so we're gonna play through and see what feels right to us, see what feels wrong to us, just sort of enjoy the content that they have to offer. Probably find a bug or two, since this is a pre-release demo, the game doesn't come out for another few weeks. And uh, yeah, they will take what we say into account, so if you have any recommendations. Build a tank. Grab and drag handles to resize the tank. <laughs> All right, I'm already noticing that I'm able to do some things I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> can I like move around? Oh my God, I control the fish. Bro, I control this fish. I'm making this fish swim around. 12 monster fish or 44 large fish or 176 medium fish or 881 small fish. Look, I can explore the tank. Oh, wait, I can leave the tank. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is intended or a bug, but I can just swim off into the distance. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, now I gotta see how far it'll render the fish. He's still there. He's a speck in the distance, but he's still there. Oh, a shell in the pit, hello. There's still a pixel flashing. A shell in the pit, I believe in chat right now, is the developer of the game. So yes, the fish can swim pretty far away. <clears throat> This is your player cursor. With this, you can move through the tank, rotate around, and zoom in. No! Wait, you're not gonna teleport me back? No, I have to swim all the way back. Oh wait, I'm right here. Okay, thank God. I thought I had to swim all the way back. Not the consequences of my actions. Tools let you interact with your tank. Click any of them to learn more. Tabs provide lots of information about your tank, fish, plants, and more. Win the game. Fish game is a sandbox ecosystem. There's no right way to play. We recommend you fill a tank with fish, plants, and interesting things, and try to keep everyone happy. So I, I'm i fearing right now that I may have made my tank a little bit too large. <laughs> because I, um... Nah, I mean, you know what? I can see everything. This is fine. Okay, well, we're obviously gonna build a giant mound in the middle of sand. Camera blocking the grid. Oh, real. Real and true. Now, I hate to be that guy, but do you think the sand can go above the water? Can I get mud skippers? <laughs> okay, I don't think I can get it that high. Perfect. This looks really good. And then my fish is right here, and he can swim. Of course, he can swim into the sand. That makes sense, because he has no collision. <laughs> he already swam out of the tank. Why did I expect he wouldn't swim out of the... Hey, we got it out of the water. Aww. <laughs> Why is it so damn difficult to get the sand to stay out of the water? Ah, oh, it's close enough. Oh, it's peeking out. Perfect. Okay. Everything's going well now. Okay, so we have our beautiful hardscape tank here with a perfect sand pillar in the center. Um, and then, of course, we're going to need a moat around that. Oh, oh, I seem to have removed all of the sand from the... Okay, that's fine. That's actually not a tank, a bad tank idea. A pyramid in the center, a really tall pyramid in the center, surrounded by void. Okay. Next. What is this? Oh! 
Well, everybody knows black sand makes fish stand out better. Clean the glass? The glass gets dirty? The fuck is this noise? <laughs> substrate vacuum. The substrate's gonna get dirty? I think it's fine right now. But this is kind of sick. I love the physics of this. Bro, my plants are gonna grow and I can trim them? Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, get me off of this. How do I escape? All right, my tank's health. Oh, I can do a water change. This is 1,700 gallons. <laughs> okay, 46% oxygen is not the best. I kind of want that higher. CO2%, 45 is pretty bad too, but we're good on ammonia. Ah, uh, now you can't see this. <laughs> Where do I put my face? Anyways, pH 6.5 is fine. Water temperature 70 is fine. I don't need another tank, okay. Fish, click on a fish in this menu to see how they're doing. I don't have any fish, I need to go to the shop. Pet start glass wilds, the jungle, Tetra town, shop of little horrors. Well, I'm obviously gonna go to the shop of little horrors. Oh my God. Okay, cichlids, the vibe seems to be cichlids. In fact, I'm only seeing cichlids. Oh, I can see how much hunger they have in their health. Kitten? Why is this one named Kitten? Hello, Kitten. Oh yeah, that's true. I wouldn't be able to see these on my black background tank, huh? Come here. Get in. Oh, I can. I can just take these from the shop. <laughs> All right, give me some duckweed. No, I don't want that. I want duckweed. Give me that. All right, cichlids, I'm not gonna be able to see you in here. Have fun though. All right, the tank is coming together. We've got a giant black pyramid. <laughs> and two convict cichlids. It's cool that they have behaviors. Also cool that I could just Wake up, fishy. Wanted to eat plants but couldn't find any. Here you go. Have fun. All right. What are these? Bettas! Oh my god. They're so cute. There's so many bettas. I love that I can swim around. All right, well. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. Do you think these guys will get along with the convict cichlids? <laughs> I've now put five bettas and two convicts. Oh, what's happening? I got an alert. Oh, they're all killing each other. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Oh, oh, oh. You guys were in here for like three seconds and they all died. I know bettas don't tend to get along very well. They're fighting too. I'm getting a lot of notification. Very hurt, died, very unwell, died, died. Whoopsies, I've accidentally created the betta fish hunger games. Congratulations, I suppose, to the winner. <laughs> Oh, I flushed the rest. Bye. Sorry. I didn't know you would all kill each other. They were getting along so well over at Pet Start. Oh, autos! Oh my god, autos suck onto the glass. They're so cute. Oh, wait, actually? Oh, yeah. Well, it gets cut off at the top of the water, but that's okay. Wanted to eat plants but couldn't find any? Well, I'm putting plants in here. Hey! Leave each other alone. <laughs> we don't need more deaths, okay, you two? Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm taking I'm taking all of these plants. <laughs> They'll stick out sideways. Oh, yeah. Yep. Just as God intended. All right, we have one more shop to go to. Tetra Town. That's not a Tetra. Is this not an angelfish? Is this not a saltwater... Am I crazy? Are these not saltwater angelfish? Early juvenile red tur turquoise discus. And what is this? Buttercup guppies. Okay, I really don't like guppies, so. Put the discus in. Put the plants in. If your tank was real, it would have been featured on shitty aquariums. How dare you? Look at my tank. It's beautiful. 
I've got, it's not overstocked. Look, my O2 and my CO2, they're not doing the best, but they're fine. I've got no ammonia, temperature's great, pH is great, and no algae. We're doing great. What happens if I hit change water? Oh, wait, no. I see. Oh, and the fish just stay floating above the water then. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He jumped back in. Cool. Oh, they have piranhas now? Wait, so the shops do change. Why are they all dead though? <laughs> I just got here. Why are why is everything different and they're all dead? I'll take a piranha though. Actually, I'll take two piranhas. I really don't want this tacky. No, I don't want that. I'll take the cool plants though. You're paused, top left. Oh, whoops. That's why everything's staying still, huh? How do you think my tank is coming together? For how bad it originally looked. Beautiful. I wish I could zoom out more. I mean, it's probably my own fault for making such a ridiculously large tank, but it would be nice if I could zoom out more. Cause like, I can't get a grand perspective of the tank. This is the furthest out that I can zoom, you know? Are there only fish or are there little animals like shrimp or snails? I haven't seen a shrimp or snail yet. Oh my God, everything has new stuff. <laughs> this tank is like the size of a Witcher 3 level as far as Unreal is concerned. Okay, okay. All right, I will give in. Let's make, let's, let's, let's try to make a normal tank. Okay, chat. Normal, normal man, Brian. A tiny, make the smallest tank that they let me. Now that is a wonderful idea. Was it glass wilds that had the autos? I want two autos. Auto. Auto. Here we go. This'll do. African onion plant. Wow. Oh, this is a panda loach. Why did I think this was an auto? Whoopsies. Oh, wait. I turned from the perspective of this thing, so I always could have swam out of my big tank and then... Okay. I'm really not the, not the brightest, by the way. All of these features that I'm talking about are just already in there. All right, how's this for a tank, guys? I've got a redfin auto and a panda loach in a four gallon tank with three, four plants. What am I doing wrong? Why are you stressed? Swim space. Oh, man, I was just trying to make a tiny tank. I thought it said I could put two small fish. Look at him. I can follow him around. Look how cute he is. Hello. Oh my God, he's freaking adorable. I'm gonna make a big hole in the middle. Oh God, the plants interact with it. <laughs> a panda loach is stressed. I know. I know you're stressed. I get it. I don't know what to do for you. This is kind of a rock. If I oriented this right, it would be a rock. Actually, that's what I, this is creepy, but that's what I'm gonna do. If y'all won't give me a rock, I'll make my own rock. Perfect. I've got a rock. Okay, this is actually not the worst tank. Look at how interactable everything is. There's got tons of diverse areas to live in. Are both of my fish dead? No, he's fine. Look at him. He's loving it. Okay, I get it. <laughs> how do I turn off the notification? I know you're stressed. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about it. Additional substrate types will be a future update. Yes, I would love gravel. I'm a gravel man. I do like sand sometimes. That alert shouldn't be popping up with that much frequency. Well, I guess you've never seen someone who's as bad of a fish owner as I am. Wait, driftwood? What do you mean driftwood? You saw driftwood? Rocks! Rocks! Real rocks! Oh, driftwood! Perfect. Okay, now we've got a beautiful hardscape with some water lettuce. Hey, this actually looks pretty good. This would be wonderful for creating, um, if you were going to like have your own tank and you wanted to come up with a design for it, this would be really cool when there's like a greater diversity of, you know, adjustability to like rocks and driftwood and that kind of thing. It'd be really cool to get an idea of what you want. Okay. Should I try a, should I try a beta? He shouldn't be claustrophobic because, you know, the tank is just going to be him but he'll be calm, so he won't have issues 24 seven. Isn't that right? Wanted to hide in a cave, but could not find one. Well, come, come here. Look at Josh. Josh is a little um, deformed. 
Oh, never mind. Josh was turned to the side. Josh's fins don't look so good, though. His fins don't look so good. I hope they improve. Here, Josh. Have some food. Oh my god. Get it, Josh. Get it. Yeah. Good boy. Nom, 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 nom. You get him. Yeah. That's right. You glitch into the sand. Oh, yeah. You you dive into the sand for that flake, Josh. That's my boy. Always knew he could dive a foot into sand to grab a, a flake. Oh, yeah. Come through the glass on the tank and into the sand. He's so talented. He's just a guy. He's just a little guy being a little guy. I love my talented little Josh man. How you doing, Josh? Ailment? Injury? Why does he have an- Oh, is this because he was injured at the pet store? What do you mean wanted to hide in a cave but could not find one? Is this rock not good enough for you, Josh? Alright, well you- you stay here and heal up. I don't think I can get you any medicine, so don't think that's in the game yet. I will find you a cave. Okay, no caves right now. I tried really hard, Josh. I'm sorry. Josh merch. I'm sorry, Josh. I tried really hard, but there was no caves for sale. So I don't know what to do, Josh. Josh wants to go under. I know you want to hide in a cave, Josh. Look at, look at this. This is basically a cave, right? Oh, hiding in a cave. He found a cave to hide in. No, that's just sand, Josh. Josh isn't the brightest, but he's so talented. Injury, age? They're gonna die of old age? Why do the fish have age? Okay, he's happy with his swim space. Oh, so his personality takes into account. So his tank size is five greens, but the fact that he's a claustrophobic fish is two reds. But overall, he's good, because that, you know, that's a positive of three. So even though he's claustrophobic, this is enough room for him. So plant breathing, off-gassing, animal breathing. So this is for carbon dioxide. The oxygen level is about even. So if I had another plant, the, the oxygen would be better. How much a fish feels like it can take care of itself, including its sense of hierarchy and energy? Well, he's alone, so he should be fine. Yeah, he's the tank boss. Curiosity. Spawning drive? Well, I hope you heal. Oh, you're hungry now? Okay, here. Well, you're not really hungry, but you're hungry enough that you'll chase some food. There you go. That's kind of a cave. Is that good enough, Josh? Do you love me yet? Wanted to hide in a cave, but could not find one. Okay, it's not good enough for Josh. Don't worry, Josh. If I go through all this and he doesn't recognize this as a cave, I swear. Oxygen. Oh, I need a water change. Okay, change the water. Does that mean I need a water change, or is the water change affecting everything positively? I don't know, but whatever. I did a water change anyways. I'm trying to build a cave for my betta fish. Here. Do you consider this a cave yet? Come here, fish. Grab. Is this a cave? Is this acceptable of your love? Oh, where'd he go? Oh. Get back in there. Is this acceptable of your love, Josh? Look at he loves it. Never mind, he's swimming face first into a rock. He loves his cave. I have not imprisoned him in stone. He can swim out at any point. Look at him, he loves his cave. Oh my god, he's eating from the top of the cave. Chat, don't you just love Josh? Look, he's not he's not he's not injured anymore and his fins look good. So his fins were actually injured from a fight at the store, and then by keeping him in a good environment, his fins healed. Now it's a hardscape tank. Do I really want plants? My oxygen's probably bad, though. Fish. What are the new fish? Pea puffers? Okay. Fuck Josh. Fuck Josh. Fuck. Sorry. I love Josh, but there's no universe where I'm not putting a pea puffer in here. Please, Josh. You're a calm fish. Do not hurt him. Do not hurt him. You understand me? Do not hurt him. Ah! Look at him! Look at him contort his his body in weird ways. Oh, yep, that looks normal. 
That is what it, oh, okay. No, stop it, stop, 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 stop it. Do not, stop that. You're supposed to be calm. What is your problem, bro? Do you have an aggressive personality? And now you're sick and injured. Highly aggressive? Can you not? No, pea puffer's not gonna hurt Josh. Josh is gonna hurt the pea puffer. Hey, stop that. You guys have... There is so much room in this tiny tank for the two of you. Look, look. Josh, get in your cave and think about what you've done. Pea puffer, get over there and think about how cute you are. The pea puffer is the aggressive one. Josh just wants to be claustrophobic. Okay, here's an idea. This particular pea puffer is not working out. Well, Josh, you're a little bit of an asshole, but I'll just say that that was the pea puffer's fault and that you are perfect. Beautiful and highly territorial. Why are all the small fish highly territorial? Look at this little, this little corner is pretty cool. If I saw this in a real tank, I would like this. Josh actually adores his cave. I have to agree, I think Josh is really into his cave. What happened to the edge of this rock? Why does the edge of this rock look like this? Is this an opportunity to use the vacuum? Oh my god, it is. The edge of the rock got dirty and I was able to vacuum it. Sick. You've made it 14 days. How is your world in a box doing? By now you've probably discovered that everything in fish game is deeply connected to everything else. And there's usually more going on under the surface than was immediately obvious. For making it this far, we've unlocked a, no a new tool. Go find something not so obvious and capture the moment. Oh, it's pictures. Picture, picture, picture. Does this look good? Does this look better than the other one? I feel like it doesn't. Yeah, I'm gonna put the small grass down. I think the small grass will do. That'll look nice. So like our tank is planted, but like lightly planted, you know? Oh, you know what would probably look cool? Black substrate on this. Oh yeah. Well, now it becomes immediately obvious that the driftwood is sticking out through the, the tank in multiple ways. But look at this tank. Now this is a cool tank. Doesn't this look like a dope tank? Look, he's even got like a little swimming area under there. He's got the various plants growing everywhere. He's got a cave. I think we're probably done for the day. This game is pre-release. There's tons of stuff to be added. Um, we're gonna come back to the game in I believe two weeks and that's right on the release day. So we will come back to that soon. Thank you, shell in the Pit for letting me play the game early. I had fun making a giant ridiculous tank and testing the limits of the game, and then designing what I think is an actually very beautiful tank. I think this tank looks pretty damn good. If I built this tank in real life, I would be very happy with it. So, anyone can play the demo today on Steam. Go check it out. Sick, if you would like to try and design your own, go play the demo on stream. Steam. The game is called Fish Game. <laughs> it's an extremely creative name, but great branding. That will be all for today. Thank you for allowing me to play. A Shell in the Pit has just linked it. I will link it a bunch of times. If you would like to play the demo of the game, or put it on your wish list, as that helps people find it, I believe, please go ahead. It is on Steam. Um, it'll be in the YouTube description for the YouTube video. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Whoa.